Hey guys, want to run through a quick uh, overview video for you here. I uh, did pick up a new scale. Mine did uh, go out on me. It was a real cheap uh, Rapala scale that I'd had for a long time. I uh, was fishing in the rain, had it sitting in uh, under one of my boat seats. Um, Fortunately, the rain got in there and just kind of killed it. Uh, wouldn't work anymore. So I had been looking into the new uh, Connect scale. Had seen it, noticed that it would uh, save all the, you know, all your catches and everything on your app for you. Tell you, you know, what time of day and this and that. Um, so I decided to pick one up. Um, they are a little bit on the expensive side. Uh, Eighty-nine dollars is what I paid for mine. Um, but general most of the overviews that i'd seen on it were, were pretty positive so i figured you know if it weighs fish at the very least great that's that's what i need it for so anyways went ahead and pulled the guy out of the box but here it is uh connect scale again so on the front here you do have your reset button uh your unit button which switches uh your units from pounds to ounces kilograms etc and then down here at the bottom you just have your power button so when you go ahead and power the thing on just says hello starts up and then there you go everything sitting on there you're good to go uh it's pretty intuitive to begin with there's not a whole lot that you need to to really get into with it uh, like i said there's only three buttons on it so there you go so to go ahead and get here we'll push our units we'll show you what it does if i can get it close enough here there we go so right now we have it set to pounds and i'm sorry about the glare Let's see if we can get it there we go so push your unit button switches to ounces and of course it takes temperature too so it starts off at fahrenheit you can switch it to celsius so 26 celsius and kilograms of course i'm down here in good old texas so we measure everything in pounds and ounces um, of course you have your reset button here so we'll pull a weight on my finger two pounds and then you can just push your reset button once it locks in and clear everything out and of course once you hit your power button it tells you goodbye and turns itself off really quick on and off uh connecting it to the app was fairly easy um basically you'll go and download the app for this guy um on itunes or whatever android store is playing with or is using now uh download the app pair them up make sure your bluetooth is on and that'll get everything going uh next i'm going to show you kind of what the app is all about okay so here we've opened the connect scale app so first we have our filters um, uh, sort by date. This basically lets you sort all your fish. This main page is your catch log. Uh, you can add a new photo here. If you add it on there, uh, you can customize everything. You can add a picture of the fish. You can add the location of the fish, the weight, the species, the length. Uh, was it released? Yes or no. What bait and lure was caught on? What fishing technique you're using? Uh, what waterway, air temp, water temperature, all that. Uh, you can add comments on it and then you can come down here and share it on all, all the all the social networks. Well, the main social networks. A really, really, really neat thing to do. If you're really trying to get in tune with your lake and let's say, you know, really figure out, hey, why was this fish here? What what made it that way? And you can essentially put your patterns together from just look, going back and looking at your phone and saying, hey, this day the water temperature was 78 degrees and I was catching them on these humps or turns or whatever, you know, on this particular lure. And when those conditions come back and meet that again, you know what to throw. You, you know what will get your results. And it's really neat that you can log it all here on your phone, uh, you know, just through your scale. So again, we can come over here. This, this next little icon is your summary. This tells you how many catches, the average weight, and the total weight for them. Uh, it'll generally give you a little, um, a little diagram here and show you where it is. Uh, here, this, shows, this will show you a map and everything of, of, I assume it just uses Google Maps, but um, it'll show you a match and, and all that. Uh, sorts all your catches. Here's the map here. And this will this basically when you get a catch, let's see if we can find where we are. If you get a catch, it will pinpoint on here where you got where you got the catch from. Uh, again, really neat feature. So moving on to the third icon, I'm really trying to keep these guys here in the middle. Well, the third icon I don't think will come on unless unless our app has frozen. Our app has frozen. Okay, sorry about that, guys. The app did freeze up. Uh, not sure why. But we'll go ahead and go to the third icon here. Okay, this is your tournament tab. 
basically what this is used for is to kind of keep up with your, your, your calls. So here it'll say if you have a fish you can keep and tag. Um, it'll tell you, hey, this is how many pounds are in the live well. You can put what color uh, of tag that it's on. T I mean, tells you all the weights that you've had in there, how many fishes you've called. A really, really, really neat feature. Again, um, the only issue that I have with this is that when you are in a tournament, if you're truly going to have, I mean, I mean, are you truly going to have time to sit and go on your app and keep up with all this? Uh, a lot of people will keep uh, just boards on their on their live well to ride it down real fast and then get back to fishing. Uh, to be on your phone, I don't know how, how you know how really efficient that that is. But just the thought of it, it to me is pretty amazing. So moving on to our last tab here, this is our settings. Uh, you do have to have an account to sign in and, and all that. Uh, here you can go in and change your password, how it signs you in, uh, if you want to share your GPS location, uh, default measurements that shows on the app, uh, you know, pounds, inches, length, uh, again, temperature. Here on your, this uh, goes with your tournament tag. You can do your tag setup and what colors that, how you want it done, whether you want it in colors or numeric, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can set your live well limit. Sometimes if you're just fishing a Wednesday night, a uh, three fish tournament, you can change it to three fish. Uh, or if you're fishing just your standard tournament, you can keep it at five, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Bluetooth, you can turn on your automatic log. That's if as soon as you weigh a fish, it'll automatically log it and sync up with your app. Uh, or you can turn it to not do that. Uh, this here, my device, that is your scale. And then of course, terms and conditions and all that extra mess. So. Went back and we logged out there. Uh, generally, it'll auto log you in, but if you haven't already had it logged in, it will prompt you to uh, either sign up or log in here. You can't log in with your Facebook or Twitter. I don't like to do that, but anyways. So here in a second, I'll show you exactly how it works and uh, yeah, basically show you show you what it's all about. Okay, so when your scale is on, and I'm, I don't know the camera work that I'm doing here, but at the very top, if the uh, Bluetooth icon is in white and not crossed out, then that means your app and your scale are connected together. Um, if it is grayed out and, and with a line through it, that means it's not connected and you need to go check your settings on it. So I'm going to put the phone down here for a minute and kind of show you. Uh, we'll weigh this, we'll, do, we'll switch our units to ounces. So we'll weigh this crankbait, see if we can get a weight locked in on it. Maybe not. We'll add on some young beaners. Not getting a reading, so I'll help it out. Okay, so 16.2 ounces. It held at 16.2 ounces. Okay. So now that we come back over here to our app, there it is. It has showed our weigh in and where it is weighed in. So it shows exactly where. It was caught, goes ahead and puts it in there, uh, our weight and everything. Of course, you can go in and change the species, but I mean, it's just like that. As soon as you weigh it in, it's there. Uh, if we wanna go ahead and get rid of this switch, this fish, just slide over and you can delete it from there. Um, once you get a couple in there again, you can sort by species or anything else. Um, we can go back over here. We now have total catches of one, the average weight, uh, the total weight. I mean, it gives you everything on this guy. Uh, what kind of species you catch, what kind of lure it was caught on. I mean, it, it graphs it out into all these different things. Uh, again, just a really, really, really neat scale. Um, again, coming back, the problem that you're getting into is price. Uh, $89 is a pretty steep price tag for this guy. So all in all, I do recommend this guy. Uh, if you do have the money for it, go ahead and grab one. It's, it's, it, it's, uh, it, it, there's nothing else like this out there that will, that will keep track and really let you study what kind of fishing you're doing and put a pattern together. Realistically, I think this is what this is the best for us. It's going back and realizing the patterns that maybe you didn't see that day, or if you're, facing the same conditions uh, 
going back and really being like, okay, yeah, this is the lure I caught on, this was the temperature, and this is where they were. Go back and find similar situations and help you catch fish that way. Uh, the last thing on here does come with a little, I mean, it, it, it's a measuring tape, but it's probably the cheapest measuring tape I've ever seen. Uh, probably won't be using that, but I think they just threw it in there just to add a little extra uh, feature to it. So again, that said, I do recommend it. If you have the $89, go ahead and pick one up. Um, if you're not huge into keeping up with this kind of information, then this guy's not for you. Don't recommend spending the money. Just go get you a cheap $15 or $15 scale and weigh your fish that way. But anyways, guys, I really appreciate it. And thanks for watching.